Hey, welcome back to our channel. I am Justin, and this is Fox and Robin Recording. Hey, so we're back, and today we are going to be showing you this guy here. This is Ed Rush's MX-5 amp modeling pedal board, uh, miniaturized from the big pedal board that they actually make, as well as the gig board. Um, it's got a lot of features packed into such a small form here. You see, it's not real wide. Like I can hold it, with, I can actually hold it with one hand. Um, but it is definitely a powerhouse in its own right. Um, we've been using it a few days here. Uh, so far, it has replaced a lot of our older pedals and stuff that we've had around here and given us a little more flexibility uh, when it comes to tones and sounds in the studio here. Um, we have paired it on its own with a pair of headphones and also paired it with uh, our AC30 from Vox that sits off to my left here. It sits over there. Um, in case you're curious. Uh, so this guy, uh, so far, has sounded great. There's been maybe one or two settings I wasn't super happy with, but you know, you just go on, you kind of tweak them, and voila, they sound great. Um, for what this guy is, it's little, fits in the backpack, um, it is a powerhouse. Um, we are absolutely loving it here in the studio, as well as kind of um, taking it out, like take it out to a friend's house, plug it in to a pair of headphones or something, and you guys can jam together um, or you know you got a little you go to a buddy's house who's got like a little amp or something already there you just plug it in or you go to a venue plug it into their system and boom you got your whole pedal rig i mean this little little tiny guy you know you got a guitar and this guy and you're good to go um, some of its features are following here um, you got expression pedal here and you've got three very seamless, um, you can see here I'm pressing them, and they, there's not a lot of effort needed to push into them. Um, foot switches here, and they do things if you press both of them, you can change presets like you do. Um, you can kind of cycle through if you press both either way. Um, you, always, you have to press the middle one and one of the outside ones here um, to go up and down. Um, it does have a rotary switch knob here, which is also nice. You can go through settings that way. Um, you can also use it to tweak settings with it within each uh, emulation of pedals and cabinets and amplifiers that are in here. Um, and then you got this top guy here, which is your master volume, and it does get quite loud. Love it. Um, so back here, as you can see, we've got a couple uh, quarter inch and some one eight and on off switch and power and usb um kind of closer there uh you've got here starting here you've got your quarter inch input uh expression pedal if you want a second or have a second one um also it's got an effects loop so if you've got some other pedals that you like to use as well with it um, they do have on their website a way to hook this into like an effects hook this pedal board setup, this whole setup, into like a AC30 that's got its own effects loop. It's kind of a neat, neat setup. You'll have to check that video. Out if you, I might put it in the link down below if I can find the link to it. Um, and then it's got your output, stereo output, or mono. Left becomes mono if you're just going into like a mono amp. Or you go into two amps. Or stereo in front of house, something. Or recording, you record in stereo too, I suppose, in your interface. Um, trying to read here. Uh, you got headphones out and an auxiliary in, so you can plug in like your iPhone, iPod, laptop, something to play music off of, and play Jam too. Um, and then it's got MIDI in and out, which there. This guy has adapter cables for, which I do not currently have. Um, maybe I'll get them. Um, we'll see. And then obviously you can use the power. Um, but you know, this guy is pretty sturdy. You know, it's, it seems like it's got a metal top. Sides seem to be plastic. See, they're red. Both sides. Everything else is black. Best color for a pedal board like this, I think. Um, there are other ones out there that are in this like price range in line, um, but we found this one to be, you know, kind of for its price, 
I think it beats the Line 6 Pod Go. I could be wrong. You guys are up to your own opinions. But for me, this guy beat out the Pod Go in versatility as on sound too. Um, I can also add to it. You can add IRs to it for cabinets. Um, I think over time you might be able to, if they come out with some extra presets from Headrush, you can add them in. Or they come out with extra cabs, you can load them in. Um, but so far what it comes with is, is a powerhouse. It's, it's probably by far one of the best in its line of range. Um, I think Helix has a smaller version like this too, but it's, I wanna say $700. This guy's like three to 400, um, which still in price beats out the Line 6 Pod Go, which is like another $100 above this. Um, and feels better too. I think it feels better than, than some of the other ones in its price range. Um, so far in the studio here, it's been great. We've been playing through it. I've gotten all sorts of crazy tones and sounds and effects. And, um, and it's got a ton of them in here. Um, I would say anybody who's looking to go this route um, and can't afford like a Helix or the bigger versions of these guys, um, or even some of the Neural DSP stuff, which I've heard great things from, but they are a little pricey, uh, go with this guy. Good price range, good build so far from what we've experienced. I haven't traveled a lot with it, so I can't say how it does outside of a studio or like your house. You, know, you just play in your house. Um, but so far, it's been great. You know, durability's been good, the switches have all been good, power on and off has been good. You can save your own presets once you kind of build your own thing um, to go along with what's already in here. Um, but from what we can say, probably the best thing um, that's out there on the market. So, you all have been great. We want you to subscribe, we want you to like, we want you to watch this video a thousand times if you can. So, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like our channel and this video for our algorithms on YouTube. Also, you know, check out our website. We have a uh, you know, pretty cool website, at least I think so. Um, but, um, there's more to work on that as well. Also, don't forget to uh, check out our affiliate links. Uh, we are now an affiliate for Sonarworks. Uh, so check that out, buy some stuff, support the channel. Uh, we will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.